Hey hey, so I was just thinking of making another personal video because it has been a while since the last one and I also want to talk a little bit about this trade free thing, you know, if more and more gets trade free available, if you have access to things that you need and want without giving anything in return, what would people do? Like, do you think they will just lay around lazy in bed, watch TV and don't do anything or just eat as much food as possible without doing anything and I don't think so and I was just thinking about myself you know today I had a free day or I'm having a free day and in the morning I was bouldering that was super fun and then I had a bath and ate something and later on I maybe go out to the park and just um, slackline a bit there or in the evening maybe I want to watch a documentary but then I was also just working on our Trom services that we provide in German. Um, we are providing a search engine, a Nextcloud instance where people can host their files. We also provide um, an office application, a note taking application, all these things. And I'm, because you know, I'm, I, I want to contribute to humanity. I want to help other people and, and do something good. But if you're enslaved by a job, if you have to do some monotonous work that also could be automated, then you won't have the time or the, the motivation to, to do that because you're just so stressed. So I really think we should reconsider the way we live on this planet here because <laughs> there's something fundamentally wrong. You know, I think everybody on this planet just wants to have a good life or you, you just want to have um, the things that you need and want, like basic necessities, food, um, clean water, clean air, health care and a shelter. And I can just show you my room. It's a, it's a decent room, has not too many things, quite minimalistic. I got some plants here. I got my desk here with my laptop, I got my bed over there and then my wardrobe and that's pretty much it. Of course I also have a kitchen, a simple kitchen with a fridge and a, a blender and not even a, a dishwasher but that's also fine, I, I don't need a dishwasher. <laughs> And yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, there's war going on in, in the Ukraine and, and what is Russia doing? What, are, what is this Putin guy doing? Is he, is he crazy? Like, what the fuck happened to this guy? Because he, he is responsible for killing so many already probably thousands of, of Ukrainians who, who didn't do anything, who are just helpless. They can't do anything. And yeah, it's just, these are so crazy times. It's, it's 2022 and this guy is still living in 1970 where the Cold War was or whatever. And yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, life can be so easy, can be so calm and so relaxing and so enjoyable. But then there are so many people pushed by our trade-based society. So they strive towards power they want to have a lot of money or status or yeah whatever and so many other people have to suffer because of that just think about all the people who are suffering right now because of putin and what he's doing and also his army like what the fuck if you if you work for the russian army what are you doing there you are killing ukraines what the fuck and this is just yeah this is ridiculous yeah, you know, I'm trying to contribute to humanity as much as I can, but, you know, I cannot save the world. It's not, I, I'm donating money, I'm trying to make these videos about trade as the origin of most problems. Um, I'm trying to provide some trade-free services for people and contribute to science. And yeah, I translated so many Trump books and all that, but yeah, it's, 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 I cannot save the world by myself, so it really has to be each and every one of us should try to find a way of how he or she can contribute in their way and 
I'm trying to do the best what I can um, and yeah but also enjoy life you know you, you cannot I mean we're all gonna perish we're all gonna die it's eventually I'm gonna die you're gonna die the Sun is expanding the universe is expanding eventually and exponentially so this is also something that we probably forget a lot of times in in our daily lives and I think it's so important to um, be aware about that because then you can also yeah just play and yesterday I've been in the in a, in a park here in Dresden just slacklining and there was so much fun And I was saving some <laughs> I was saving some food from food sharing. Hey hey, so I just came back from yet another food sharing collection and I got a lot of rolls, bread rolls and also bread as you can see here. And I'm just thinking about we are living in the biggest transition of humanity from a trade-based society to one where trade is obsolete, where you don't have to pay for your food anymore. You can just grab whatever you like and don't need to give anything in return. And that's the future we are heading towards to or we have to head towards to. Because if we keep playing this ridiculous trade game then we won't solve our problems because that's the incentive that incentivizes bad human behavior. That's the incentive of all the profit of all the companies and the uh, lying, the stealing, the destruction and all of that. So we need to change that and we can change that with education. We need to educate people about this trade problem and we can provide more and more trade free services. As I'm taking advantage right now from food sharing um, and I can donate the money that I earn right now instead of having to pay for food by myself, I can just donate that money to some great organizations who really need that. And I was, you know, each and every day I'm just like, life can be so amazing and so mesmerizing and so fascinating. And we are living in an abundance. We have so much food that we throw away one third. And to me, it's like, <laughs> how in the world did people came up with such a ridiculous trade game where each and every one of us is kind of enslaved even the rich people are you know they are concerned about their wealth about their money and yeah also probably stressed i think so really the best is just to enjoy life enjoy the sun and yeah try to to do your best <laughs> All right, um, that's about it from here and yeah, what else happened? Not too much. I'm learning a lot from my apprenticeship. I'm learning a lot about Linux and um, it's exciting because so many projects are also growing and getting better and working smoother, looking better. Like also Pixelfed for for instance, which is the Instagram alternative, and yeah, it's it's a, it's a process, of course, and I understand that, and I'm just a tiny tiny picture, a ti not even a picture. I'm a tiny pixel in a in a picture of humanity, in a vast or in a big movie kind of the story of humanity. And it really depends on each each of us to to try to make a great movie out of that. <laughs> All right, that was it from here, from my little room in on planet Earth, <laughs> somewhere in this vast universe. <laughs> All right, have a great one, and talk to you in the next video. I look forward to the next video where I will talk about the money game and beyond. See you and stay safe out there.